When the music fades, all is stripped away, and I simply come. Longing just to bring something that's of worth that will bless your heart. I'll bring you more than a today. We thank God that He has opened the door for us to uh, start our three days financial breakthrough summit, financial empowerment for greater heights. Today, we want to start by considering uh, breaking financial barriers and we want to look at poverty mentality. We want to look at uh, the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 2, the verse 8, where God originally planted man uh, in, the, in the garden of many uh, riches. So man was created and placed in the garden of affluence and abundance darkness that are available for you and I to possess and it comes by revelation that each and every one has to act be mindful of it now when God created man we realize that he created man and put man in a guardian of what affluence <clears throat> God knew what he wanted to do. He wouldn't allow anybody to be created without the supply. So he created Adam after he has created everything and put Adam in the garden of the blessing of the Lord. Adam was surrounded with what? Abundance. That wasn't created by his own ability. Supernaturally, those things were in place. So he came and inherited what? Wealth. Can I hear a bigger amen? Yeah. He came and everything was in place. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to assure you that God knows you're coming on this earth and he has put everything in place for you. It's about time you need to tap into them. God is not ignorant. Of your today. He is not ignorant of your past. Neither will he be ignorant of your future. Everything about a believer is supernatural. Your birth is supernatural. Can I hear amen? amen. I say your birth is what? Supernatural. How can your birth be supernatural and there will not be a supernatural supply for you? How can it be? Your birth is supernatural. That means you are going to attract supernatural supply. Amen. Huh. Huh. You see, the enemy is very smart. He wants you to believe in your strength. And the little you can achieve. So that what God meant to do with you cannot materialize. But the devil is a liar. Amen. That's why God has created a season like this. Amen. A season for you to break through. Amen. There is a need to break through. Mm. Anytime you see a breakthrough, that means there have been a hindrance. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. What is rightfully yours has been hindered. And it's about time that they have to let you go. Yeah. I said they have to let you go. Yeah. The enemy entered into the garden of the blessing of the Lord. As if he was there to offer something to Adam. But he was there to take something. Hallelujah. And give him something. Anytime the enemy steals something, he gives you something. If he steals your faith, he gives you unbelief. Ah. If he steals your health, he gives you sickness. He will never come to you and take something without giving you anything in replacement. 
So the enemy entered into the garden. And ladies and gentlemen, as if it was a joke, as if it was a friendship. It wasn't a friendship. It was all about destiny. Being diverted. Now all what God has planned, the enemy came to cancel it. So he gave man what God has not given him. He made man to believe that there's nothing supernatural. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to take too much time. I don't want to take too much time, but I want you to know that there is financial provision for you. Amen. I don't know whether you believe it, because until you believe it, you can't access it. Amen. A lady was looking for a job. And she's been looking for a job so many months. No job. I said, hey, there's something for you. Amen. Something for you. Supernatural. Amen. Keep applying. She applied until she got tired. I said, still God has something for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. When you lose track of the supernatural source, you begin to believe a lie. No amount of strength. For the Bible says, by strength shall no man do what? Prevail. That's why you're there for supernatural. Yesterday, a call came that this sister has to get a job that she didn't apply for. Amen. I didn't hear you because it's not you. Amen. And that's why. Because if it's you, you say amen. amen. She got a job without application. application. Oh. Amen. Oh. I know that that was going to happen. I knew that God was going to surprise her. Amen. But she hasn't seen anything yet. She should keep believing. Amen. She should keep believing. Amen. I said she should keep believing. Amen. If God gave birth to you supernaturally, he's able to take care of you supernaturally. Yeah. You know, you have to stop working. No. Don't believe that the work you are doing is what has to make you. Before the work, you have a destiny. Can I hear amen? Yeah. Amen. And God will not give you a destiny without provision. Huh. It's never done anywhere. You are not a wicked father. And God is saying, if you are not, he is not. If I have to send you to Africa, I have to make sure that you are comfortable. Amen. If God has to send you here, there is a way for you to be comfortable. Amen. Don't lose track. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me just go on because it looks like uh, uh, praise the name of Jesus. Amen. In the garden, something happened. Let's put on the on the on the on the board, Genesis chapter 2. Genesis chapter 2. Let's read from the verse 8 and 12. 8 to 12. Please quickly because I want to. Finish this thing by uh, 22. The Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had what? For God could have put the man anywhere. And out of the ground, the Lord God made every tree grow that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. Oh Lord, this God likes good things. Hallelujah. The tree of life was also in the midst of the garden. And the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Move on. Now a river went out of Eden to water the garden. And from there it parted and became four river heads. Move on. The name of the first is what? Pinon. It is the one which cares. The whole land of Havila, where there is gold. So gold existed before our days. <laughs> the gold of that land is good. Dillion and Onyx stone are there. This 
these things were what? Dead. I said they were what? Dead. Dead. God planted him in the midst of abundance. You could have put him in a jail somewhere. But God will not bring you on earth here as an irresponsible father. Do you know what happened? The enemy knowing where God has planted Adam is added to come to change the plan. Huh. So he also entered into the garden. Yeah. That's why the Bible says the devil comes not. Anytime he comes, he comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Jesus said, but I have also what? Come. That you may have what? Life. Life. And not stop there, but have it in what? Abundance. abundance. So that means there is an abundance. Yes. Because Jesus has come. Amen. If the devil came into the garden, that was then. Jesus has also come. Amen. So there is a restoration. I said there is a restoration. I said there is a restoration. I said there is a restoration. Ladies and gentlemen, God provided for everything He created. He provided for everything He created. I said He did what? He provided for everything He created. So if God created you, Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's move on. I wanted to open some other scriptures, but let me just bring a long story short. The supernatural abundance surrounds you, and yet we walk on them and go and do hard work and depend on the hard work. But you work. He give you a little. It happened to the children of Israel. They ended up in the land of captivity. The children of Israel in Egypt, they were burdened with yokes. But ladies and gentlemen, God is a God who can put your years of labor together and lavish it on you. Amen. That's the God you say. That's the God you say. Man was created and placed in a very rich estate to govern it. So you see, it wasn't, it wasn't that God placed him there, but he gave him an order to govern riches. Hallelujah. Hey, my God. Amen. My God, you are not here. Just for you to enjoy what you have to get to enjoy. You are here to rule. Amen. God said, yes, I'll bless you in the garden of affluence. I've surrounded you with abundance. But I am here to assign you to rule. Amen. Okay. Huh. So it's like you have entered into money. And now you are to rule with the money. My God, help us. That will change our mindset. It's about time you need to change your thinking of me, myself, and my family. God is depending on you in order to what? take the world into the kingdom. Hallelujah. That's why God planted him in that garden. So you are descendants of a man that's supposed to rule. But the enemy came in and stole the power to rule. So man started thinking negative. Do you know what? What happened in the garden? Man was deceived in the garden. And it is the same plan. The enemy is not using any other plan. To deceive you for you to depend on your strength. Because you have health. It's good to have health. It's good to have strength. It's good to work so hard more than everybody, but don't depend on that hard work. There is a source that you need to depend. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
So the enemy took the eye of God. So that the people would depend on their strength. That's what happened. So he has a mentality. If that mentality don't change, it's difficult for you to really, really believe God for anything. The enemy has set up a mentality in the garden. So the moment they lost track, they went hiding. And do you know what they took? I want to read the scripture to you. I want to read the scripture to you. There was an evil exchange. I said there was what? I said there was what? There was what? An evil exchange. Let's read Genesis 3. The verse 6 to 8. Please put it on board. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for the food, that it was pleasant in the eyes, and a tree desirable to make one wise, she took off its fruit and ate, and also gave her husband. She wrote the check, and she presented it to the husband for him to sign. And he signed it. If you love your wife, sometimes you close your eyes and sign anything you put there. Am I right? <laughs> My God. My God. Move on. Move on. Then the eyes of both of them were what? Open. And they knew that they were what? Naked. And they sealed what? Thick leaves. Together and made themselves covering. So now they have taken the covering of God. And they have taken leaves. That's what is happening. People are afraid to be under the covering of God. Because they don't want any instructions. So it's better they live a life outside God. And cover themselves with leaves. Alternative. Mm. Alternative. Because they will, they will be asked to pay tight. Huh? And we come even late. I know what time I'm going to come. As soon as they finish the offering, you are deceiving yourself. They deceive you. Huh. I want to close. I said, eight, when it's hit, hit, I'm off. Let me show you something. <clears throat> poverty was not in the plan of God. But the people giving up poverty mentality. In the garden, as soon as they were able to die up with the enemy. What is leaves that you have to leave the covering of God? To go and take leave and cover poverty mentality. When the enemy is able to plant poverty mentality in you, he finishes you. That when you even enter into a palace and they ask you to sit down, you say, No, no, I want to stand. Because everybody should see you humble. Ladies and gentlemen, to be poor is not humility. To be honest, it is a slap at the face of our God. Poverty mentality needs to be broken. I say it needs to be broken. I say it needs to be broken. It needs to be broken. When they come to your house, you have abundance, you give them. So I'm rich for you, so I don't eat, I don't eat this. Huh. Huh. I come from a background that is very poor. They will never cross over to look for any job more than training. Because they don't see themselves. Be able to take 
take a job more than training. This season is your season. Yeah. I said, this season is your season. Yeah. I said, this season is your season. Yeah. If you are going to flow with God, the job you don't qualify, he'll give it to you. Yeah. And they'll train you on the spot. Yeah. They'll give you a chance for you to be trained. Because they want the character, the you, Amen. not the skills. They can give you the skills. Amen. People don't hire people because of their skills. It's only people don't understand business. They hire people with their skills. They hire people with character. Right attitude. Ah. Ah. When you have the character, I will hire you. And spend as much as I, I can on you because you have a character to maintain the progress of the business. Amen. But if I hire a skillful person, he's skillful, proud already. He knows his hot cake. This one needs me, this one needs me. No character. Ladies and gentlemen, God is God is not happy. The princes are walking barefooted. And servants are riding on horses. God see that an abomination. Why will God create you and put you in a garden of affluence and then you begin to live like a pauper? Not because you don't have, it's because you have developed a mentality. We call it poverty mentality. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, you deserve more than you are seeing. Yeah. You worth more than you are seeing. Yeah. It took the blood of Jesus for you to be seated here. Yeah. It took who? The blood of Jesus. How expensive is that? Expensive. Can you compare it to anything? No. Jesus has to be shipped just because of your health. So if you don't Take your health. What do you think heaven will do? They'll be crying. Say, hey, I have been through all these 39 lashes just for them to be healed. And look at it, they are trampling on it. They have accepted sickness instead of health. He became poor, am I right? Yes, sir. I don't want to go through all that. So that you'll be what? So you do not have to accept to live far below your level of authority. Yeah. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. For lo, behold, curse is anyone that is hanged on the tree. So that the blessing of Abraham, the blessing of who? The blessing of who? The blessing of who? May come to the Gentiles through who? Christ Jesus. Hey. Christ has redeemed us. You are the redeemer of the law. And because you are redeemed, you are entitled to where God placed Adam originally. Amen. You are entitled to prominence. Amen. Today I came to destroy poverty mentality. Yeah. All this month I've been praying that Lord, if my people will have the mentality that you have originally ordained for us, that through Christ Jesus you have restored that mentality. If my people will rise up and possess that mentality, my God, we are going to see the gospel move into places. We are going to see champions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't say, son. Two thousand years ago, I broke that mentality. Hallelujah. I sent my son for him to die for that mindset to be destroyed. Amen. Yet my people are afraid. It is fear. It's gone. The eight is there. Look at that. I came to prepare the way. 
I said, I came to do what? Hmm. I want you to write the scripture and I want you to go home and look at it. My God. God transferred the wealth of the Egyptians to the children of Israel through divine favor. He transferred it to he, he was seeing everything. He said, I have seen the affliction of my people. God is seeing everything you are going through. I have seen it. The affliction of my people. Exodus chapter 12. I'm closing with that. Put it on board. Write that scripture down. When you go, I want you to check it. Exodus 12 36. My God. My God. My God. And the Lord had given the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians so that they granted them what they requested. Amen. I don't like this translation. Yeah. He said, Thus they planted the Egyptians. Give me another translation. They stripped the God Egyptians man. of their wealth. Oh, let's give God a big clap of it. This is not for God. The God is about to strip. My God, my God. What did he do? The Egyptians took favorably what? The Lord caused the Egyptians to look favorably on the Israelites from today. That is your portion. I say that is your portion. God is going to cause men to look at you favorably. Men will favor you. They will be under divine authority to favor you. They will tell you, I don't know why I'm blessing you. Have you received that kind of blessing before? Oh, yes. That people don't know why they are favoring you. Yes. And they gave the Israelites whatever they asked for. Today, the anointing to get whatever you ask for has come on you. I release that anointing on you. You have a dear destiny. Whatever you ask for, you get it. I say you get it. I say you get it. And so they what? Stripped the Egyptians of their wealth today. May that anointing rest on you. The anointing to strip the Egyptians of their wealth. Of Egyptian, even an Egyptian is sitting here, you say we are insulting him. It's not the Egyptian you are talking about, it's talking about your enemies. Egyptians are not your enemies. There was a spirit that came into Egypt that ruled over the children of Israel and gave them poverty mentality. Thank God there was prayer. But because it was in Egypt, it happened in where? Egypt. Egypt. So don't look at Egypt, man, and say, hey, you, today, I strip <laughs> everything. <laughs> and pastor says, we can strip you naked. Please, don't do that to God loves them equally as you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. I say, praise the name of Jesus. Amen. I say, praise the name of Jesus. Amen. This month is the month of open heaven for greater victories. Amen. Let's be on our feet. May the Lord rain favor on you. Amen. I say, may the Lord rain favor on you. Amen. May the Lord rain favor on you. Amen. May the Lord open heaven over you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, man will be able to claim the glory. The resource will be massive to the extent that nobody can claim what? Resource. Lift up your hands and receive that grace. The grace for the children of Israel to strip the Egyptians their wealth. It came on them before they were able to do that. Receive that grace right now. 
Receive that grace right now. I said, receive it. It's coming on you. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive that grace. Now, 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 now. Thank you. Thank you. Today, by virtue of the mantle on me, I destroy poverty mentality. Every poverty mentality that followed you here, you are not going with it again. You are not going with it again. You are leaving it here. In the name of Jesus. We break the power of poverty mentality. We rebuke that spirit. We command that spirit to lose its hold over you. In the name of Jesus. I say so shall it be. I say so shall it be. Open your mouth and say this after me. In the name of Jesus. I declare. In the mighty name of Jesus. I boldly declare. I decree. And prophesy. The heavens. Over me. To be open. I decree. That the heavens over me. Must stay open. In the name of Jesus. Say this after me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every poverty mentality. That has followed me. Throughout my life. By virtue of the anointing of this city. I break. Your hold. Over me. I am free. I am free. If you are free, clap your hands and begin to take your freedom. Take your freedom in the mighty name of Jesus. 